All right, Mr. Cash 22 here. Listen, like, comment, subscribe down below. Let's get this party started. This is question number five, page 104, chapter two, distance travel. All right, so assuming there are no accidents or delay, the distance that a car traveled on the interstate can be calculated with the following formula. Distance equals speed times time. A car is traveling at seven miles per hour, write a program that displays the following. And these are the questions that is being asked for us to display. The distance the car will travel is six hours, 10 hours, 15 hours. All right, so now that we got that established and taken care of, now, like I said, rule of thumb is have your Jupyter notebook open, copy and paste the question that's being given into a word problem, okay? A word document, excuse me. So now that we have this within this word doc, like I said, we can break it down for here. And just due to time purposes, I kind of, you know, got a little head start and did it for you guys. So same question that was being asked, you know, in question five, literally just copy and paste it. Now we have to break down what we are going to use in order to write our program to make sure that we're answering this question correctly. And my, and keep this in mind. This is very important. You guys are probably wondering why I highlighted, you know, write a program that displays the following. Keep in mind, this is this question is not asking us to have a user, you know, write a program that prompts, you know, a user. This is basically saying, hey, write a program that displays the following, you know, six hours, ten hours, fifteen hours. Okay, so this this is exactly what this question is being asked so like I said take your time read the question very carefully and then go from there I also changed the color for this statement as well distance equals speed time times because that formula is going to be very crucial in order to create our program and in addition to that also knowing that hey cars traveling 70 miles per hour this correlates with speed bada bing bada boom and on top of that we should also keep in mind that the distance a car travels, so hey, distance, a lot of people are going to think, oh, well, the distance should be going into here, like the six hours. No, it's just letting us know that's what we're trying to solve for. The distance is exactly what we're trying to solve for, and what we have is six hours, you know, and that correlates with time. This time correlates with second hours and minutes, okay? So we'll put that right there. And from there, we should be good. So let's get back to our Jupyter Notebook, and get this ball rolling all right so now that we have that established what we're gonna do is basically say hey we know that speed equals 70 miles per hour this is our variable that we're gonna be using and it's being assigned to the 70 okay and then from there all we just need to do is create a print statement because remember our goal is to write a program that displays so basically what's trying to be display is this right here so we'll do that and I'll copy this and then I'll go on to the next line and then print that. Okay, so 6, 10, 15, we have 6. I'll change this to 10 and I'll just change this to 15. So like I said, I'm not trying to move too quickly, but I want you guys to know that it basically, I'm just doing exactly what it's telling me. It says write a program that displays the following. So here's the following. Okay, so we got this situated. Print, you know, the distance the car will travel in 6 hours, 10, 15. In order for this to be printed, you know, and display, what we're going to have to do is put this in quotation mark. Whoops, excuse me. Do the same with this as well, front, back, and then do the same front, back. Okay, so now that's established and now we got that situated. Now what we're going to have to do is go on to the next one. And, you know, a lot of people think, well, this is all that we needed done. Well, not necessarily because we still have to figure out and answer the question, you know. How, what is the distance the car will travel in 6 hours, 10 hours, and 15? So we're almost there. We're like 50% of the way there. So now that we have that situated, we'll take things into consideration. So we already know that we have speed. And then within these, within these scripts that was already created, what we can do is use this comma and then also implement more things within this line. So now that we have what's being displayed, we can also, also use our math and formulas within our own lines as well. So what I'll do is I'll type in speed. So our speed is 70 miles per hour. And then within our formula, this is we're solving, you know, for distance, we need speed times time. So within Python, when we're trying to multiply, this is the formula we use. I just hit shift and I hit eight and that's on your keyboard. That's the asterisk. Okay. So now that we have that situated, we're going to write, all right, we got our speed right here so our speed is 70 miles per hour next we need is the time and our time is six hours so we have speed times our time which is six 
and just to make it fancy and look clean I mean you could easily stop right here but just to make it fancy and look clean what I'll do is I'll put the abbreviation for miles and that's MI okay and then rinse wash and repeat for the next one do speed times and what what would you time this by 10 okay and feel free to add spaces or no space I usually like to do that just to make it look clean but I mean don't you don't have to follow me do what makes you you know feel comfortable in your Python journey then the abbreviation for miles is MI and then I'll do the same right here put the comma type speed asterisk 15 comma MI and then you're probably curious like hey why is not speed in quotation mark the reason why isn't because <laughs> like I said you have to keep in mind what we're doing is with this parentheses I mean parentheses excuse me with this quotation marks we're having this being shown so it could display it so it can make it look like this but then within this speed times 6 times 10 times 15 we're actually using the mathematical formulas in order for the distance equals speed time times in order to solve for it so now once we got that all established looks good like I said always double check your work all you have to do is run this you can hit shift enter or you can hit the run button and this is exactly what we get 420 700 and then we get 1050 and just to play it safe you know always feel free to get out a calculator just to make sure that your math went smoothly uh, you can just simply just do hey what's 70 times 6 times 6 you got 420 and then let's say 10 times 70 you get 700 okay and then you do 15 times 70 you get 1050 1050 perfect all right we did wonderful we did fantastic all right now hopefully you guys learned a lot like I said if you have any questions feel free to leave any comments down below like comment subscribe and let's move on to question number six let's get it take care and stay blessed